Okay, hi. Hi. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Max. And we're from the Santa Barbara Middle School Teen Press. We're here today with... Sheena Nielsen. David Guerra. Alejandra Flores. Nice to meet you. Okay. Would you like to tell us about your film and what has the, the some challenges and uh, accomplishments that are great and interesting to you? Um, honestly, uh, the movie was called And Now I Lay Me Down with Jane Kaczmarek, and the director was Ronnie DeMuth, which you just interviewed. Um, I honestly would say this was like... Uh, one of the projects that I did that had the least amount of challenges, meaning it was very, very smooth because everybody was super talented and very, very prepared and we all had a ton of fun together, but it actually did torrentially rain. And so that was definitely a challenge. So then you have to, like in filmmaking, go from what you plan to be a beautifully sunny California day and then it starts raining and you have to figure out on the fly, how am I going to make this work? And that's hard but also fun and challenging and trying not to get rain all over the house and it's very cool but hard yeah that's right i remember the umbrellas yeah we were supposed to be like perfect because the the look of the movie is just marvelous it's very very unique it has like all these pastels colors and it's like very busy in in terms of coloring and it's just beautiful and we had to be like perfect you know like sparkless right yes and with the rain we were struggling because we had to be with our umbrella and make sure that nothing moves <laughs> and nothing looks bad right uh, yeah i guess the only challenge was maybe we could spend more time with each other i think we all had a really nice time i think the chemistry yeah. was really really nice yeah and uh and it was like it was really homey we we're inside yeah. jane's home and she was gracefully able to allow us to film there and it was just a, like, it was a, a great a, production like a nice too. family in there. Yeah. And what was like the most accomplishing or like what felt the best about working together and like the final project? Um, I think that like when you finally see the final product, like we got to see the first screening of it last night. And I think when you work really, really hard on something, I'm sure you guys know too because you're building a show as well. When you see the final product, like that is the most satisfying thing. And to know that you put all of your heart into it and then what comes out is like this beautiful flower that you guys all built together is like really exciting. So I think that that was like, that's always the favorite part. Yeah, because when you see a film, you are all, not, not only seeing the actress, but you're all, also seeing the production and the sets and the costumes. And when everything is so professional and so wonderful, you kind of feel it. You know, it's just a f nice feeling. Yeah, so our, our director, she was also the writer. So, so whatever she wrote in her head and using that imagination, putting it on a script and then flourishing it, uh, this, this art, the piece of art that's a, a, that's you're able to share with the world. Uh, you had a world premiere yesterday. Folks in the audience were laughing and having a great time. So it's really nice, something personal being shared with the public. Great, thank you. Thank you so much for interviewing us. We really appreciate it. I love it. Like thank you. I also love you. Beautiful dress, earrings, all your <laughs> Thank you, Max. Just everything. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Max, and thank you, Emma. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Bye.